Hey guys, it's Metacosis Perfectionalis. One more time, continuing our discussion about rheumatology. In the previous video, we talked about osteoarthritis, the definition, the etiology, the epidemiology. Today, let's talk about the pathophysiology, also known as pathobiology, also known as pathogenesis of the degenerative joint disease. By far the most common joint disease ever. With that being said, now let's get started. You can get a case plus answer plus explanation sent to your email every week by going to patreon.com forward slash metacosis. Follow me there and it's completely free. Osteoarthritis is a degenerative joint disease. Okay, so it's not inflammatory. It's a biomechanical. No cardinal signs of inflammation. No constitutional symptoms. Joint pain is worse with use. In the evening, it's worse. Asymmetric. No elevation of ESR or CRP or any other inflammatory marker. Osteoarthritis affects the weight-bearing joints, obesity is a risk factor, trauma is a risk factor, manual occupations is a risk factor, it's a chronic insidious disease, therefore lymphocytes found in the joint, the white blood cell on joint fluid analysis is between 200 and 2000, but I've heard that the normal white blood cell count is 4000 to 11000, hey, this is the blood, we're talking about the joint here, honey, stop it, morning stiffness is less than 30 minutes because it's not inflammatory and of course if it's not inflammatory no synovitis as you grow older your risk of getting osteoarthritis increase exponentially let's review the different types of collagen we have type 1 and it's found in bone type 2 and cartilage type 3 vessel skin uterus type 3 is very pliable or flexible type 4 in the basal lamina or basement membrane mnemonics type 1 in bone type 2 in the cartilage Type 3 is flexible, so here's a very flexible 3. Type 4 is under the floor, the floor here being the basement membrane. What else is 4? Remember L3, L4? You kick the door. It's called patella reflex or the knee jerk reaction. What else is 4? Your anal canal is 4 inches long. Get your head out of your sphincter. Pathogenesis of osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis is a degeneration of articular cartilage and its disordered repair. So the cartilage is gone and you cannot repair it. To understand any pathology, first let's understand the physiology. You have an articular cartilage which provides virtually frictionless movement of joint, which is awesome. Resistance to tension. How? Thanks to type 2 collagen. Who makes type 2 collagen? The chondrocytes. Perfect. Resistance to compression. How? Thanks to proteoglycans. Who makes them? The chondrocytes. Normally, the articular cartilage does not ossify. This is physiology. Let's talk about pathology. Is osteoarthritis just mechanical wear and tear? I've told you before that's mechanical wear and tear, but is it just mechanical? No, that's a big mistake. Osteoarthritis is much more than that. You start with a healthy cartilage, then it becomes an unhealthy cartilage, then the bone respond called sclerosis. So you lose cartilage, but you grow your bone, which is ugly and horrible. Is osteoarthritis just a disease of cartilage? No, it's not. It's a disease of the cartilage and a disease of the bone called subchondral sclerosis. Subchondral beneath the cartilage. You know what's beneath the cartilage? It's called bone. The changes to chondrocytes and osteoarthritis. First, we start with chondrocyte injury. Then early osteoarthritis. And if there is an early osteoarthritis, you'll expect that we have late osteoarthritis. Look at you, injured chondrocytes. How? Is it nature? Is it nurture? Is the fault in us or the fault in the stars? That's why John Green wrote his book, The Fault in Our Stars. Genetic factors and environmental factors. Genetic factors, some genes and environmental aging and biochemical stress. Certain occupations, soccer player, factory worker, construction worker, and uh, trauma etc 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 then early osteoarthritis chondrocytes gone mad they proliferate secreting matrix metalloproteinases mmps inflammatory mediators collagenase protease proteoglycans matrix remodeling not to be confused with your home remodeling 
Your home remodeling might be fun. Matrix remodeling is usually a pathology. Secondary inflammatory changes in the synovium and the subchondral bone. Ooh, then the late osteoarthritis, chronic injury, chronic inflammation, repeated injury, chondrocyte dropout, not to be confused with college dropout, significant loss of cartilage and significant growth or changes in subchondral bone called sclerosis, osteophytes, cysts, etc. Here is the physiology. We had type 2 collagen. But thanks to matrix metalloproteinases, MMPs, such as collagenase, now this collagen is history. We have proteoglycans, but thanks to those enzymes, they are degraded because we had stuff and enzymes to degrade them. So the pathology, osteoarthritis, affects every extracellular component of the cartilage. It's not only a mere cartilage damage, it's deeper than that. Articular cartilage does ossify. You told us that it does. Yeah, we were talking about physiology, but in pathology it does ossify, which is horrible. Decreased proteoglycan turnover with age, which is bad. So it takes longer than five years, for example, to regenerate your proteoglycan. It's just an example. Let's say that it take you five years to regenerate your proteoglycan and have brand new proteoglycans in your kitchen, I mean in your joint. If you're old, it takes you more than five years, so we have decreased renovation or regeneration, which is bad. If you are a pathology nerd, you will love this slide. If you don't like pathology, of course you're going to love this slide because this is medicosis. The chondrocytes proliferate, aka gone mad. They start to form clusters, cloning. You have one chondrocyte, 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 chondrocyte. This is weird. Something weird is going to happen you'll increase the water. Er, er, let's say that this is your house and you started increasing your water in your house er, and decrease the wood or the brick in your house. Is this good news or bad news? Of course it's bad news. Your house is flooded. So this happens in the matrix. When the house is flooded, it starts to like destroy. Destruction is upon us. Cleaving of, not the wood, but the collagen to fibers causing fissures and clefts. The house analogy is perfect. Fissures and clefts at the surface of the articular surface, which is cartilage, the chondrocytes die. So first the gum mad proliferate and then they die. The cartilage sloughs off, which leads to pieces, will dislodge and tumble into the joint, lose body in the joint. We call them joint mice. It's like you getting a bottle of water and add three coins in it and start to shake it, baby. This is the same sensation of joint mice. When the cartilage sloughs off, the subchondral bone is now exposed and now became the new articular surface, which is bad because bones shouldn't be in contact with bones. That's why we have a joint. This will lead to increased friction on these bones. Ivory bone hibernation, they will start to grow scars and become, become tough as nails in order to try to shoulder this friction. This is called hibernation, not to be confused with ubernation. This hibernation will lead to sclerosis of the cancellous bone. Why cancellous? Because those are the guys in contact with the joint surface. Hello, the compact bones are in the shaft. Get your head out of your sphincter. F ivory bone? will lead to bony overgrowth causing osteophytes, aka osteophytosis, because osis means condition. They look like the mushroom, and the mushroom has a cap. The cap will ossify. What was the cap? It was called cartilage, baby. May she rest in peace. Friction will lead to bone gaps. Remember the fissures? Okay. Then fluids are gonna collect synovial fluid collects in these gaps. It enters the gap, it doesn't exit. The gap called valve-like mechanism. You end up with fibrous walled cysts. So let me summarize everything for you. In brief, not boxers, we have cloning, cleavage, clefts, breakdown, joint mice made of cartilage, ivory hibernation made of bone, osteophytes made of bone, capped by cartilage, that ossify. So instead of being made of cartilage, they are now made of bone. Does that sound like mechanical wear and tear to you? No, it doesn't. It's a biomechanical process. 
not just mechanical, but also bio. Does this sound like a process that only involves cartilage? No, it doesn't. Not only it destroys every single extracellular component of cartilage, it destroys the subchondral bone as well, leading to bony overgrowth. So in brief, osteoarthritis is a disease of cartilage loss and bone growth. I'm a visual learner, you can tell by looking at those notes, so I love visual mnemonics and my friends at Picmonic are the best at doing this. So check the link in the description. There are many myths about osteoarthritis in the culture, so I would like to debunk them. Are you ready? Osteoarthritis facts and fallacies. Myth number one. Osteoarthritis ends in itis, therefore it's a systemic inflammatory arthritis. Look honey, you might be cute and well intentional, but you are what's known as wrong. Osteoarthritis is a biomechanical degenerative disease, cellular and biochemical disease that has been driven by a biomechanical stimulation. There is an injury, there is biomechanical stimulation, and there is cellular and biochemical disease process. Loss of cartilage, growth of bone. Myth number two. Osteoarthritis is just wear and tear. You're living under a rock. You're as naive as the T lymphocyte before it recognizes the antigen. The truth is, osteoarthritis involves complex pathological change in chondrocytes and their matrix and the bone. So, cartilage and bone, and it's a complex pathological changes, bio plus mechanical, not only mechanical. Number three, osteoarthritis is a disease of cartilage only. Bull! Osteoarthritis affects the entire joint as well as the subchondral bone. Loss of cartilage, growth of bone. Osteoarthritis has no known cause. Oh, give me a break. Primary osteoarthritis is idiopathic. We are idiots and we cannot figure out the pathology. Secondary osteoarthritis, on the other hand, has many known causes. I'm a lady. I had rheumatoid arthritis for 35 years and now I'm having osteoarthritis and my friend is telling me that's idiopathic Your friend is a physiology professor. What the flip does he know about osteo? You have osteo secondary to rheumatoid arthritis because this is a secondary osteoarthritis Myth number five based on age primary osteoarthritis doesn't this is just some lawyer talking primary osteoarthritis is a disease of the elderly the prevalence of osteo increases exponentially beyond the age of 50 and people who are older than 70 years, 40% of them have osteoarthritis. So if you have five old guys sitting in a coffee shop, two of them is having osteo. You're telling me that osteoarthritis is not a disease of the elderly? Shut up. Is this fair? It's not fair. Is this true? It is true. Myth number six. If you have x-ray changes, it means you have symptoms. Bunch of bologna with cheese. Many patients have x-ray changes associated with osteo. However, they are asymptomatic. Don't confuse the two. Hurry up, this deal ends soon. Perfectionals ultimate notebook or pun plus 20 lymphoma cases plus 25 bleeding cases on patreon.com forward slash medicosis for less than 5 bucks. Hurry up, guys. Hurry up. To every member of the Medicosis tribe, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and join the tribe. You can support me by going to Patreon. You will get all of my PDF notes like these lectures that I'm drawing right now. All of them are available for PDF. You can just download and they are yours forever so that you don't have to go on YouTube and check if you have a stable internet connection. These are yours forever, baby. Go to patreon.com forward slash Medicosis. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense. Medicine and sense. Two words that don't go together like an honest salesman.